GCK King's Circle with Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui. I extend a warm welcome to another enlightening episode of the GCK King Circle. We are kings, queens, princes and princesses, and nested, nurtured and knitted for reality. I am Ruth, and I'm joined by my esteemed host, David. Today, we want to share a message of hope and inspiration. Centered around a topic close to your heart, achieving dreams in alignment with God's plan for our lives. We all have our dreams and aspirations, and it's natural to wonder how we can fulfill them in a way that glorifies God. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 11, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Let's be loved. Achieving our dream often requires a strong, unwavering determination. Challenges will come. But with God's strength and determination, we can overcome. Today, our mentor, Dr. W.F. Kumui, we throw more light on achieving a God given dream. Before then, let's listen to this soul lifting song by Global Music Artist. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. With all creation I see, praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. I hope you've been blessed by that ministration. Let's now listen to our mentor and to take us through a journey of fulfilling our God-given dreams. A former university don and renowned mathematician, Kamui's deep insight into God's word and passion for souls comes from a place of humility and strong desire to exalt Christ, leading souls to salvation and liberty. Please welcome this humble, honest, and holiness-inspired gospel evangelist, Dr. W.F. Kamui. Positive progress towards the summit. We're going there together. You know, as you are moving on and God has given you a dream, You'll take a step at a time, a step at a time, a step at a time. Before you know what, you are there already. How do we eventually get there? Number one, receive the dream. Don't just walk about aimlessly in life. Get something before you go from here today and say, yes, I've got a dream. I'm going to be a doctor. I've got a dream. I'm going to be a preacher. I've got a dream. I'm going to be a missionary. I've got a dream. I'm going to be this or that. You will be in Jesus' name. Number two, record the dream. Record the dream. Record the dream. Write it down. Write it down. And read it over and over. And remind yourself every day, this is where I am going. So that you will not forget. You know, Joseph never forgot his dream. They persecuted him. He said, I know what you are after. You want to take my dream away from me? I'll not lose it. They sold him to slavery. He said, I know what you are after. My dream, I'm not going to let go of my dream. Don't let go of that dream. Number three, review the dream. Review it. Read it over again. Analyze it. What does it take? What do I have to do to be able to get to the place I need to get to? What books do I read? What course do I take? What mentor do I have? What institution do I go? You're asking yourself questions. You're so saying, if I'm going to achieve this dream, I've received it. I've recorded it now. I am, I am reviewing it. Number four, resist the dream destroyers resist the dream destroyers there are people that will come to you and will say you're making too much of this dream you're making too much of this goal you're making too much of this aspiration ambition say hold on 
keep your words to yourself and resist those dream destroyers. How many of you use telephone? When the battery goes down, what do you do? Again? Uh -huh. Number five now. I catch you. It says you recharge the dreamer. Sometimes the dreamer, that's you. Discouragement comes. Your battery is now. No joy, no laughter, no excitement, no motivation. Your battery is down. And I say, hey, stop. Don't use that telephone because the battery is down. Plug that thing to that socket and do what? And recharge that thing. Recharge the dreamer. Go back to the word of God and read some promises again and recharge yourself. And any song that inspires you, any testimony that inspires you, any mentor that inspires you, any church service that inspires you, go in there again and plug yourself into that socket there. It will not take one hour. You'll be recharged. And then you come out again and then you pick up that phone. Pa, 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 pa. Hello, who is over there? He's a dreamer. I said he's a dreamer. You are recharged again and you're on your way to success in Jesus' name. Number six, release resources for the dream. Release resources. Don't be stingy with the resources that will fulfill your dream. If the time, if you need time, give it the time because fulfilling a dream will take time. If it takes effort, energy, reading, getting that form, signing that paper, and preparing for that exam. Do it and release all the resources that will, will fulfill your dream. And now, number seven is to rejoice and reign with destiny. Rejoice and reign with destiny. You'll be hearing all these things and you are in church already and you are ready to go. And I can see you. Nothing now can stop you. Nothing now can stop you. You are climbing the mountain. Always remember, if you ever get tired on the side of the road, just come back for one or two hours, recharge that scene, and then move on again. You will succeed in Jesus' name. You know, I wish I could come to each of you and just hold your hand and say, now get up, it is time. And then I'm going to pull you to that mountain top. But even though I cannot come to that place physically, spiritually, I'm holding your hand. I'll be praying for you the place I go. You'll be on my mind. You'll be on my heart. And remember all the youths that have gathered here. To, I said, Lord, I prophesied into their lives. Fulfill that prophecy. Fulfill that declaration. Go out and succeed. Go out and lead the crowd out there. Go out and be on the summit in the sunshine. Go out and have everything the Lord has given you. Lord, I seal it. I confirm it that your people, young and old, nothing will bring them down. Pray, Lord, like you fulfill the dream for Joseph, like you fulfill the vision for Joshua, like you did it for Jabez, like you did it for Je Jephthah, like you did it for Jeremiah, like you brought a double portion for Job all over again, and like you made use of all the all those people of old. Everyone here, the anointing is upon you. The power is upon your life. You will run, you will not be weary. You will walk, you will not faint. You will not fail again. Failure is of the power from today success prosperity victory conquering up to the summit level and it is so in the mighty name of jesus we thank you lord because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray welcome back i believe you have inspired and your soul has been lifted we've seen that a crucial aspect of pursuing our dreams as Christians is anchoring ourselves with faith, trusting in God's promises. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for us to bring you another exciting episode. Be your dream. Be, Be royal. royal. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui would love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King's Circle. Be your dream. Be royal.